Alright, hi everybody. I have to hide behind the camera for this one because we're going to be using the full screen for sure. Today we are doing an actual project, so please stick around and enjoy this one. It's really, really nice. We're going to do linear regression with real data. We're going to use on Kaggle the California housing prices, which you may have heard of. It is a data set that is very well known, but unless you've done this before, you probably wouldn't have seen it. So basically, we're going to do a regression on this data set, which I just downloaded through this. You can Google uh, Kaggle this California housing prices, download that, it'll put a CSV on your computer, and if you extract that and you drag it over here, it's going to put it right there. If you're doing this and have trouble with that, uh, just let me know in the comments down below and that's totally okay. So basically, we have this here, and to work with CSVs, we are going to use pandas a little bit. I'm not going to show anything interesting with pandas. I'm going to move it to NumPy as quickly as possible but we're gonna use import pandas as PD, and then we can put this data into a data frame. So we can do df is equal to pd.read CSV, and then we pass the name of it, housing.csv, and this data frame is awesome because it shows this huge thing. It shows we have 20,640 20, rows and 10 different columns. Most of them are, are values. The last one here is basically uh, just a categorical variable, which is, uh, how close we are to the ocean. Okay, so we'll actually use that. Uh, it's a little bit complicated to set that up, but it's worth checking out to, to figure out how to use these categorical variables. And so here we have, we're going to do a, a prediction to try and guess in the location based off all these other variables, how many uh, people live there. Okay, so for each of the locations here, it's some location in California, it has a longitude, and it has a latitude, it has some housing median age, the total number of rooms, and a bunch of different information. Okay, and we could run a linear regression, that's, the answers are always going to be positive, but that's okay, that's pretty common in, in practice. And we're going to try and predict how many people live there. Okay, so we are going to go through an entire project to do, to do this. It's not too bad. And I will split it up over multiple videos depending on, you know, how long we're taking. So if there's weird edits, it's just because, you know, I'm, I'm not saying like, hello, hello. It's just I'm going to split this over into a few minutes per video. Okay, so here's probably the first one where we load the data set. And then I just want to show it set up for you, which is if we are to change the order of this, I actually have this set up slight, uh, close to how I want it, except I decided to make one change here, is I'm just changing the order of our variables to make sure that the y value, which is our prediction thing, we're trying to predict the population, so that's the end. And I decided to actually keep this ocean proximity thing. I'm going to add this into the project because I think it's good practice to figure out how to do this to work with categorical variables. So we'll do ocean proximity here. And all I'm doing here is just changing the order, and you can do that by giving this thing a list, uh, if it's square brackets, and then a list of strings with the right order. So now everything's set up, and the last column is our our what we're trying to predict. Everything else, all of these are predictors that are continuous variables, and this one it is going to be uh, what we call a categorical variable. It's kind of like a, bi a binary variable. We can change it to binary variables, except it's basically just multiple different options. It's either this or it's this or it's this. It's near bay or it's inland. I, I think those might be the only two options. In fact, I can check this very simply for you with df sub um, df sub ocean proximity. And then if I do dot value counts, that's going to show that we have, no, okay, we have many different options. We have either 1H ocean, I don't know what that is, inland, which just means, you know, inland, uh, near the ocean, near the bay, or on an island, which island you can predict probably doesn't have that many people unless it's actually like a, a huge island.